All right, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a guitar review. Um, I had a company contact me a few months ago about doing a review on their guitar, and they sent me this guitar, and it's called a Van Goa. It's, a, it's called a Van Goa. Uh, it's the model number. This is a basic VGE12-3. Now, let me just say this. I have, ne this is a 12 string guitar, by the way. This is a Van Goa 12 string guitar. I have never owned a 12 string guitar before. Um, so I was kind of excited about, you know, getting this uh, just so I could, you know, have a 12 string guitar. <laughs> um, let me just say this right off the bat. Uh, I was expecting, honestly, I was expecting this guitar to suck. Like, um, you, you know, because you get stuff off of, uh, you know, from manufacturers and stuff. And, you know, if it's not one of the big name manufacturers like Fender or I don't know, Paul Reed Smith, whatever, um, a lot of times you're, you're thinking, you know, it's just probably going to suck. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is this is further from the truth. Um, this guitar is, is pretty freaking awesome. Um, yeah, I was expecting the frets to be jacked up. I don't know why I had why I was like had a negative thing like it like this guitar is gonna suck and I'm just gonna do this review and you know um, point out all the shortcomings I guess. But honestly, I don't even know how much this guitar costs. First of all, I'm actually gonna look it up. I haven't done it yet because I kind of want to be surprised when I see the price of it. It could be expensive, but I don't think it is an expensive guitar. Um, but I want to be surprised at the price because the quality of it is is pretty freaking good. So I'm going to go down everything that that I'm going to run down everything that came with the guitar. Uh, I do an unboxing, which I'll go to right now. So, so far, everything looks cool. It came in a pretty nice box from Amazon, packaged very nicely. Let's take a look and really see what's going on. Hey, this is very cool. Got a nice, it comes in a nice gig bag. And we also have some nice accessories. Let's see what we have here in our accessory bag. Okay. We've got a strap. We've got a guitar capo. It even comes with a tuner, that's very cool. You, you don't often see guitars come with a, with a tuner that come with the guitar, so that's very cool. Wow. They actually sent a set of strings. A nice cloth. To wipe my guitar down. Sandpaper, okay, that's interesting. Now I'm wondering what that's for, but we'll find out. And we've got a nice owner's manual right here. I'll make sure I read through that this weekend. And looks like to be like a pick guard that's kind of, oh, it's like a sticky. So we'll get into that later. But something tells me this is a, yep, this is a pick guard that actually sticks onto the guitar. So we're not gonna open that right now, but at least we got it. And then we have, a guitar cable, very cool. So this is an acoustic electric. So we've got a guitar cable. And we also have a, one of the, the, the string, uh, these things that hold down your strings at the bridge. So a uh, peg, that's what we got, uh, a bridge peg. So very cool. And then we have three, comes with three guitar picks. So we've got three guitar picks, a tuner, a strap, we've got strings, we got a capo. Seems like we have everything we need, so let's check out the guitar. All right, moment of truth. Seems like it's packaged very nice. It was shipped very nicely, which is good, because you never know what's gonna happen in an Amazon truck. So let's carefully take off uh-oh, there's actually an Allen wrench here, so this is probably to adjust the truss rod. All right. Oh, this is looking clean. Wow, okay. 
Interesting. So it's been so it's packaged very nicely. The strings have been covered with this paper. So that's kind of protecting it. And then we have this tag right here. It's cool. And let's put this down gently and then take off this paper. I've actually never seen the guitar packaged this nicely, but then again, I haven't had many guitars shipped to me. I'm loving this color. This is very cool. Really loving this color. Nice. This guitar even smells good. Okay, definitely out of tune. So we'll work on getting it tuned up. battery compartment is taped up very nicely to where the battery is um it it's got the negative terminal with uh, plastic over it so that's good so the battery wouldn't drain while it's in transit so that was that was very good they did that so we're gonna we're gonna test out all this stuff man i'm excited really loving these tuning keys up here it's a very clean very nice some kind of uh I'm not sure what material this is, but I love the look of it. It's some kind of, it looks like platinum kind of or something like that. Very cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we'll see what's up. Let me just say this, first of all. Let me just say this. The, the build quality of this guitar is, it's, it's good. It's, it's real good. Um, I do have some things I'm going to say that probably isn't the most positive, but it's actually not about the guitar. There's like little small trivial things, but, uh, long story short is I got this guitar. I got it tuned up. It took me a little while to get it tuned up because it is a 12 string. I've never owned a 12 string before. So I kind of, I, I mean, I've been playing guitar for 30, 30 something years. So, you know, I'm thinking how different can it be 12 strings instead of six, um, and something told me that each string, it would be the, uh, like it would be the same string twice, just one thinner and one thicker. Like the low E string would have a, a thin one and a thick one. Um, what I didn't know is that the thin strings are on the top. So like on your E string, the thinner one is on top and the thicker one is on bottom. That's what gives it this weird kind of dulcimer kind of sound. <laughs> Because you're, you're actually hitting the the, uh, the the thin strings first and then brushing over the thick strings. But anyway, build quality wise, um, it's clean. This this guitar is freaking clean. I don't want to use any curse words, but it's, it's effing clean. Um, I was looking around for like little, like just little stupid stuff I could point out, like on the frets or whatever, or the binding or something. And... I really have a hard time finding crap like that to point out. I mean, if I get a magnifying glass, I might be able to see something. But let's go over what's good about the guitar that, that I like. First of all, I like the tuning keys. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it looks like uh, platinum or I don't, I don't know what it is. But it, it just looks cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's a cool color. Um, I'm glad I ordered this color, by the way. Um, it's got a nice, uh, whatever, mother of pearl inlay right there and, um, comes with electronics. So you've got a four band EQ, you've got a battery tester and you've got a volume control and a battery compartment. So it's pretty cool. Um, this guitar is very easy to play. Well, let me back that up. Um, it's not easy to play because I'm not used to playing a 12 string guitar. But as far as the action, the, the distance between the, the strings off the neck, it's perfect. I like it. I love it. It's perfect. And the neck is nice and fat. I really like that a lot. Um, let me play for you.
that sounds really good. Um. By the way, the tuner that they sent with the guitar, which is this right here, um, it's a little, it's a little Van Gogh uh, tuner, I guess. Um, I actually compared it with like the, the Poly Tune from um, a little bit more probably expensive tuner uh, from TC Electronics, which is probably made in Shenzhen, I'm sure. <laughs> but anyway, the little, the little tuner they sent me with it, I'm just saying it, it's accurate because I tested it up against the little Poly Tune. And they both um, have the same, you know, they, they both come in good. I'm trying to see if I can see. Yeah. There you go. Now we're going to look up the price and see how much this guitar costs. Because now I'm really curious. All right, let's see how much this guitar actually costs. Van Goa basic I'm just gonna type in Van Gogh 12 string Van Gogh 12 string guitar I'm ready to be shocked make sure I'm still recording okay here it is it's the one I got $200 <laughs> this guitar is $200 I'm, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. I'm not trying to be funny or, I, you know, I, I know by American and all that. I, listen, I love USA. I love my country, all this kind of stuff. But, like, if I, if I was Leo, not Leo Fender, because he's passed on. If I was Fender the corporation, I'd be shaking in my freaking boots. If I was Paul Reed Smith, I'd be shaking in my boots. You know, maybe not shaking, but I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This guitar is $200. <laughs> A guitar like this, when I was coming up, I know I'm old, but when I was coming up, when I started playing in 88 or whatever, in the 90s, you would, you would spend a $2,000 to get a guitar with this quality. How they're able to do this, I don't know. I don't I don't know how they're able to do it. I, I, I hope that everybody's working in good conditions. And <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They're probably using computers and CNC machines to laser cut a lot of this stuff to to cut the wood, the body. I don't know what else I can say about the guitar. All I can tell you is it's a good guitar. I'm actually good. I hope they make electric guitars. I'm going to look and see if they make electric guitars. Maybe I can review one of those. Uh, th <sighs> Bruh, look. This is Urban Guitar Legend. Thank you for watching this review. I'll leave a link to the uh, Amazon, whatever, in the description. Um, maybe I have an affiliate link. I'm not sure. i got to find out. But um, whatever. Just I'll leave a link to it down there. Hope you guys have a great day. Have a great Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Happy whatever to everybody in Shenzhen. Thank you so much for the guitar. And we'll talk to you later. Peace. Oh, my God. Ronnie.